What is up, beautiful people of YouTube? My name is Jordi Tessic, and welcome to another episode where El Presidente is so drunk. But welcome to another episode. What the hell? You guys see this shadow? What the hell? Well, welcome to another episode of Tropical Six Sandbox Gameplay Military Dictatorship Island, where we're gonna. This is this was the last episode where he was still walking, but he's finally here. We might ask for financial aid. Let me see what happens here before I tell you what we're doing this episode. If you guys watched last episode, you already know what we're gonna be doing. Uh, Two thousand, and you know we're gonna take the immigrants. We finished the uh, rum deal, uh, so that's a good thing. We are almost done with the third set. Oh, we we got we got done with the third one. Okay, cool. We're almost done with the whole sabotage. So that means we are progressing to Cold War era. This island. This is the progression to Cold War era. And we're done with the meat deal. Okay, so things are picking up a little bit with trade as well. It doesn't really matter what trade routes we pick right now because once we move to Cold War era, all the trade routes are gonna reset anyways. But we'll take a we take a meat deal and we'll take a la 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 la. You guys have rum. Okay, I don't have tobacco, which which is which is an idea. I was gonna start this episode as well. We got a cigar factory going. I would love to do boats because boats are like. Even a default price of 32,000 per 1,000 unit. Jeez. Um, you know what? The heck with it. Let's go ahead and leave it open for now. Let's go ahead and leave it open. But we could ask. We can't ask for financial aid. It's going to hurt us. But we're going to get 20,000 financial aid. Boom. And they still like us. We're still in the hundreds. I love it. So our efforts to please the allies is paying off for us right now. Cool. Now... I don't understand if you guys watched last episode, we keep getting attacked by gorillas in a split second. It says the gorillas have been defeated in literally a split second. So I don't know who's defeating them or what's happening, but we're not getting attacked by rebels. We're getting attacked by gorillas. So that's one thing to keep in mind. So the prison, we have money for it right now. Some of you might say, why get a prison? Because you already have a dungeon. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Does it, do we really need it? We don't, we'll just keep that here. But prohibition is going on. Prohibition era or or uh, the edict is, is right there we want to reach level two this is almost done what i did is increase increase the proof portfolio or increase the budget by 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 four now so it, efficiency should be 135 and also spend 2000 on the academic department so what i'm going to do is build another library because we need research points guys we do we, we really do need research points and uh it's just it's just not it's just one is not doing it one is not doing it we could build uh, i'll tell you the other idea i have right now let me just build this library somewhere around i don't really care where i build it to be honest with you uh, we'll build it right right here it doesn't matter where i build it so we build this library one other thing we could do is build a newspaper and some of you might say hold on jerry tastic now you're trying to make people hate you why would you build something that emits liberty well because you can make newspaper be your propaganda machine which also decreases liberty so we're, we're doing we're taking we're taking something good and turning it into evil is basically what we're doing right now and 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 that's and that's kind of another idea i have to kind of we're trying to get people pissed off at us basically i have no idea why we're 30 percent nothing is emitting liberty they only have one clinic they only have one grocery store they barely have houses one church one of each only like literally one of each um maybe because jobs are are, are 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 around maybe that's that's what's helping out a little bit but like I said, it just makes no sense to me why we even have that much. But what I am excited about the most is, like I said in the last episode, in case you didn't watch it, is I think things are going to pick up as far as people getting really mad and as far as uprisings happen once we hit the Cold War era. Because that's when people start demanding things. Ever since Tropical 4, usually the Colonial era and the World War era, things are a little more mellow. People are like, okay, give us a clinic. You don't want to? Okay, that's fine. But once you hit Cold War era and Modern Times era, that's when people's like, okay, dude, enough is enough. I need this. So I think that's when things are going to pick up. But we don't know. We're just speculating right now because this is Tropical 6 and things have been very interesting in Tropical 6. Very, very interesting in a very unpleasant way sometimes but nevertheless been interesting so we'll keep it okay so open mind the department uh decreases liberty by 30 see like see what i'm saying slight increase approval of cities living in the vicinity of the newspaper every time they rest decreases the liberty by 30 uh you earn five dollars for each citizen and if actually, i actually rather take that we're gonna decrease the liberty not by as much but we're also gonna make money so we're gonna go ahead with the penny saver and that one and this one right here we need we need high school workers we don't have any high school worker. Oh, we have one. Okay, cool. Welcome, dude. So we're gonna raise the budget on here, just so we can, 
start generating more points. The economy is doing better than I thought. We've only been negative once so far. It's not obviously we're not in 100,000s. To me, 50,000 is broken. Tropical six and real life, not so much. You know what I'm saying? Real life, not so much. Labor policy is already working on it. So here we go. This is what something I've been waiting or itching to get it done. A life's work, citizens are required to start working at the age of 14 and cannot retire. Decreases average life expectancy by five, decreases job quality of each place by two, decreases immigration rate by 10. Um, so we're definitely gonna do that. We're definitely going to do that. Um, go ahead and do it. We're still, everything is the same here. Religion, estate research required. So we're still wa waiting on, on that to get research, but we're gonna go ahead and give our stamp of our approval here and we are good to go. We might get attacked by the Axis pretty soon once we uh, uh, declare alliance with the US or with the allies, I keep saying US, but we might get attacked. So how far are we into it? We're almost done. We're almost there, guys. It's gonna be a very, very interesting episode, that's for sure. Oh, labor policy is good, okay, cool. Now we're doing prohibition, prohibition I should say, and uh, hopefully it doesn't take us long because we got too long. I mean, there's nothing else that we can use as research uh, instead of a research center, but we don't we don't have that right now. Obviously, a research lab we don't have that. That's not gonna be until next till next era. All right, it's time to spend the big bucks and get our army base going. What is a military dictatorship island without our, without tanks? We need tanks, boys. So let's go ahead and spend the big bucks, which not, we already did, you know. We already spent it. There's no turning back now. Let's go ahead and spend them. And I mean, let's go ahead and build it. It's going to be, yep, there you go, perfect. And this is going right here now how perfect is that now how beautiful is this i really by the way i do like this island i like the desert feeling of it you know when you think of tropic I always think lush and all this stuff obviously because we have resources at, at at low for the island we don't really have a whole lot you know these are the only areas we can actually have something suitable uh, which is not a lot as you can see but it is what it is now we want to build a new industry, but I always tell you guys when before building a new industry, you need to see how many people you actually have unemployed, which right now we don't have a whole lot unemployed, but we do need, I feel like a cigar, uh, cigar factory or, or, or tobacco f industry right now is, it's, uh, it could be beneficial for us. Okay. It could be beneficial for us. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, oh geez. Now we knew it was bad. I didn't think it was going to be this bad. This is bad. Efficiency is gonna be even, even, even at all blocks. Efficiency is 56. Oof, we're gonna have to go all the way here, huh? All right, the heck with it, dude. We're gonna have to do what we have to do. We're gonna have to do what we have to do. Obviously, I don't like the street being like this, but this is all temporary. When I do an island that I actually, I, I'm, I don't want to say I don't care about this island, but this island obviously is here for a specific purpose. But when I do an island that I care what it looks like, I, I always tell you guys that at first things are going to be all over, all over the place. And, and once, you know, we settle down, we'll, we're, we'll start, we'll start being more organized. Okay, so we built the plantations. We're not going to do the factory just yet because we don't have that much money. It's going to make us go bankrupt until we get a good, a good amount of money coming in. Maybe our financial aid or maybe off of this or off of that. But okay, are we done? Yes, we're done. Okay, right away. Hold on. Before we do anything, let's go ahead and get the pirates in there to rescue and rescue educated. We need some educated. And we can start doing the normal stuff. Okay, here we are. Set diplomatic status of alliance. Yep. We're doing it. And so radio station near embassy. So that's what they want. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, dude. What, what do you want? Fulfill trade routes with the allies. I thought you wanted a radio station. Now you tell me you want this? Um, okay. All right, so you want me to fulfill trade routes with you, but you also want a radio station near embassy. Oh, the super abandoned their embassy and Tropico will need to invite them before. Oh, this is for the access. The hell with you guys. Get the heck out of here, dude. Bye. They said they got to leave the embassy. They can leave it. Oh, dear. Did I ask for something, but you failed? Now you shall come to understand. Are, are we going to attack by them? Or are they just going to leave? Get the heck out of here. You think I care, dude? Bye. Bye. You're, we've been sabotaging the heck out of you. Now you're demanding a radio station? Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. All right. But now they want us to, in order to proceed to the next one. 
the allies are, are now our allies too. Together we fell the enemies. Who are our enemies? I don't know, dude. So they want trade routes with them, obviously. Um, so we got meat. Um, what else can we? Anything that we can give them is fine. We'll give them sugar. They want sugar. We'll give them sugar. We just gotta do it very, very low stuff. You know, sure. We even have oil. Hold on. Let me see. If we have oil, I think we do. It's just not that much. Let me take a look. Do we have oil? Oil will. Hold on. Before we do that, I don't want to buy one yet. Let's take a look at our resources. And let's go to oil. Oh, we do have some oil for them. Okay. We'll take the oil. We'll take the oil one. We're going to go ahead and buy a trade license. Obviously, we're going to have to buy it. And we'll take that oil deal for you for 950 units only. We don't want to overdo it. But we will do the oil. Um, there we are. There we are, mate. And we're going to go ahead and boom. Uh, hit it like that. Okay. All right. All right. Things are picking up. Things are picking up. Okay. Calm down, everybody. We, we got it. Right, we got it. So the ally or the axes are out. They're, they're mad at us, obviously. Ho hopefully they don't do like a blockade on us because that would really hurt us. And the allies really, really like us. They really do like us. So that's that's very good. There we are. Okay, since we do have a sugar deal as well, I'm going to go ahead and start getting the sugar up. Man, this is bad. Look at his efficiency. is like you could put it here and it barely even fills it up. Oh, my goodness, man. I, I, I knew it was going to be a challenge. You know, I can't I can't complain now. I knew what I was signing myself up for before, before I came here, right? All right. Well, once again, I'm going to have to do this ugly, ugly street, street grid here. But uh, it's going to have to be done. Can go ahead and get a bunkhouse here as well just because we, we don't want them taking forever to come this way all right safe load here is good second shift we don't want a second shift right now we can barely fill up the jobs that we have we have 19 open jobs uh, it's, it's better than what, what it was that's for sure and we're researching right now rescue any and their pirates are departing okay cool 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 not as cool as going back to school oh i'm just kidding that was calling uh, we're going to raise the budget here. Hopefully that raises things up as far as raid points coming. Prohibition is coming along nicely. Okay. We're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. I, I really... They gave me the, the wackest request in order to proceed. I really thought maybe it could be like, you know, we do this. They ask us to do something stupid and then we do it. But, you know, four trade routes takes time. So, But we do have three, three going at the same time. How fast are they going to go? That's not up to me. Hopefully they give us a rum one soon as well, as we, we can use the money too. But I'm not seeing any, any rum. Do we have meat? We do have meat. Should we take another meat one? No, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you take another meat one, because you still got to wait for this one to finish anyways. But these two sugar plant, uh, these two sugar plantations should help out with, with the rest of it. We could build another dock as well. Gotta speed that up. How are this doing? How is this doing? Oof, we need to hire. Give you some co-workers, huh? I will do that. Let's see. A dock is gonna be at 9,000 if I'm not mistaken. Yep, 9,600. Okay, next ship that comes in, we're building a dock. Hopefully, it just speeds up the Teamsters operations, all that good stuff. Um, should be, looks like meat is gonna be going out. Pineapple. We have pineapples. Is there a pineapple deal? You guys want pineapples? We got pineapples. Come on, take, take a pineapple deal. Please, pretty please, no pineapple deal. Okay, well, yeah, we're gonna have to. Like I said, man, I, th I thought I thought it was gonna be a little more easy in and out than this, but I guess not. So at least this is filled up. Well, not not nearly what I like it to be. Increases efficiency, increases pollution. I don't care. It's gonna cost us some money. We don't have that much, but oh well. Uh, we gotta go ahead and hire the college workers from outside so we can just start pumping out the oil because we only need 950 units. That's all they're asking us for. They're not really asking us for a whole lot. Oil does take generally longer to produce in this in this game than than Tropical Five. So, but it is what it is. Oh, we got a lot of open jobs now too. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, the rescue many is is gonna come right in the right time. So that really makes me think. Let's go ahead and go over here. Rescue any. So we're rescuing educated now, but we're going to rescue any and uh, have that be next up because we need, Lord knows we need it. 
Lord knows we need it. Once again, we just survived off going negative. It's nice when you don't have many public service. Oh, I say that and we go negative. But it's nice when you don't have a lot of public service uh, stuff. Um, because, you know, your balance is not going to go down as much. That's another thing that's been preventing us from going extremely low. But here comes a ship. And let's see, I always like counting them. But, oh, these are educated ones, though. So, two, four, six, seven. Seven educated wasn't really worth it. We don't really need... Once again, the gorillas have been defeated. <laughs> Literally, this happens in a split second, man. And they attacked the ranch that just got built? Who is defeating them? That's that's what I understand. Like, we're going to build a guard tower over here anyways. But who's defeating them? I want to know. I want to know who's defeating the rebels, dude. I really want to know. Sorry, I didn't mean rebels. I meant uh, uh, the... You know, the gorillas, <laughs> the gorillas, plantations, of course, it counts as rebels, estimated gorillas, unknown. So gorillas are different and obviously you have a coup and you have the rebel attacks and you have a flat out war and you have the gorillas as well. So we're being get, getting attacked by gorillas, nothing by rebels so far. A lot of homelessness here. I don't care about it. I really don't care about it right now. I'm not worried about that. Okay, research is complete. That should piss them off a little more. Uh, where is it? There it is. Decreases the efficiency of all German buildings by 30. Decreases the efficiency of all other buildings by 10. Decreases crime safety. Oh, it has nothing to do with... Oh, I, thought, I thought it would, but we'll go ahead and take it anyways. I'm, I'm sure it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt us to take it, you know? It's not gonna hurt us food for the people. No, we're not, we don't care about that. No free lunch is in effect as well. All right, cool. So we're done with that, and now let's take a look at our trade routes. We got fish. We should be picking up meat. Doing good on that. Sugar, we're not still not moving. Oil at least is moving, but sugar is not moving at all. I mean, I don't, I don't know what, what else they want. I mean, is it going? It's probably all going to the rum distillery. Yeah, it is. It is it definitely is. At least it's going somewhere good, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm upset about it, but at least it's going somewhere good. Does this drop? No, it doesn't drop it. But uh, the efficiency of entertainment building has got to be horrible now. But who cares, right? If you ask me, I don't care. And then, and I know you guys wanted this type of island, so I know you guys don't care either. But what we could do is also build another fishing wharf. Just kind of speed it up. Fishing wharf. Oh, dude, check out my fish wharf. Hey, dude. Some people here. Okay, I'm just gonna start hiring outside workers. So I, I wanna, I wanna, I want, I want this to be done quick. I want to go to the next, the next era, man. And I want it to be challenging. Right now, it's, it's not really that challenging. The gorillas defeat themselves. Apparently, they come attack me and leave right before I can even do anything about it. Ooh, look at all these watchtowers everywhere, though. Look at this. Dang! Imagine living here and you see all like one here, one here. I can see one right there. One there. And there's another one behind it. Man, these are watchtowers everywhere. <laughs> Dang, that's like that would decrease liberty for sure in real life. That would decrease liberty in real life for sure. Oh man. <laughs> that's crazy. That is crazy. Alright, time has come where we can ask for financial aid. Again, our stance with the US is perfect. I don't think it's gonna matter much, and it didn't. We keep going at a negative now. So now right now we have a little cushion room. We do, we do, we do. A trade. Sorry, guys. We're going to keep looking at the trade just to make sure. So, sugar, again, nothing. Meat, almost there. Uh, fish is doing good. Okay, good to hear. Except sugar. We don't really need sugar at this point because we're already completed one. So, we need these three. And these three looks like they're doing good. And last time I checked, the oil was actually producing pretty good. So, oil. Well, I, I swear I checked that it was good. Are they taking it to the the dock as we speak oh here it is 323 so that's halfway done so that's great that's great i'm not gonna f i'm even if i have to speed it up even if i have to do a lot of cuts i'm not finishing finishing this episode i promise you guys we're gonna progress to cold war era i'm not finishing this episode until we do that so even if i do have a lot of cuts or kind of you know just just wait a little bit i'm not going anywhere for you guys so we'll get that done for you uh oh we got election one surprisingly i'm at 29 percent but this is not a good time for a president. The president is busy making sure you guys hate him. I'm not going to deliver an amazing speech, nor am I going to let you allow me. It's not a good time. Boom. Get the heck out of here. 23% now. Approval set of 30. 
That's fine with me, dude. It's, it's not a good time. How dare you even come and ask me this? How dare you even come ask me this? What's wrong with you? We're going to go ahead and get military police. Uh, no, we're going to hit martial law. We're going to get martial law just in case things go ape shit on us. We're going to put religion in a state. And that's what's next. At least, for, at least research points is actually going. Um, raid points are doing wonderful now ever since we built the garrison. We, we raised the budgets a little bit. So that's that's very, very good to, to see as well. But again, the main mission of this is to proceed to the next era. That's it. No more, no less. So we're January 1931st or February now. Let's wait and see how long it takes us. Ooh, look at that. Hold on. Let's, let's get our money back from, from these folks. We technically build another library to get this done on time. Come on. Come on, give me my money. I knew I could count on you. Now we gotta take the five thousand. We don't we don't care about your standings. Who who likes me the most now? Capitalist and militarists are still in the middle. The militarists are still in the middle. This is the faction leader. How much is the bribe her? Three thousand. Is it worth it? How much you like me? Oh, you don't like me a whole lot, do you? Um Yeah, I'm gonna bribe you. She still doesn't like me a whole lot. I think it takes some time. <laughs> I hope so. I hope it takes some time for her to be like, you know what? He gave me money. He's not bad. Finally. Finally. Oh, my God. That took forever. That was like what took like two and a half years almost. But we are. We've done what they want. And now we can progress to the Cold War. And here it is. The Cold War era is here. It is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. The wars are over, Presidente. I would kiss you if it was not treason to do so. Surely everything will get better now that the heat of the battlefield dies down and the world begins to cool. Surely it cannot get too cold. The sun shines upon the promise of the future. The planet is unquestionably safe. Ah, uh, you might think so, Penultimo. You might think so, but El Presidente got other plans in mind. And we're about to find out in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. But, I mean, oh, whoa, 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 hold up. Economy first increases efficiency of all industrial economy first. What is this? Separation of power, no separation. But the president, they cannot issue citizen action. There is no separations at all. And the president, he rules over you as long as your little feet touches this soil. As long as you live in this island. As far as you breathe tropic and air, El Presidente rules over you. Boom. There we go. Boom. It is in effect. Effective until July 1943. We'll catch you guys. You guys don't have to wait till then, though. Because we're going to catch you guys on the next episode of Tropical 6. I told you we're going to have to wait till we get there. You know what? In, in some weird way, putting the pressure on me to buy these trade licenses and create something out of nothing kind of helped out, to be honest with you, because it made us all this money. So in some weird way, it, was actually, it wasn't actually a bad deal at all. But we will invite the Western power and the Eastern block, which is the new bad boys on the block now. Um, and hopefully we have, we don't really have good standings with either of them. So before we do any trade rust like we did the first time, we're going to go ahead and click. We're going to try to approve or, or get their approval a little more before we go all out with the trade. So we'll give them some trades here and there. Nothing bad, nothing good. Um, you know, we'll, we'll give him fish. Here you go. Here's fish. And um, we'll give him rum. We got rum. Here's rum. And that's all we really have anyways right now. <laughs> they didn't really give me too much. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I promise you it was going to be longer than usual. But I promise you we're going to stick till we get to the Cold War era. And that we did. I think things are going to heat up now. And another thing that we have in our power is martial law. Before we go, one last thing. Cancel schedule elections. Decreases personal experience of each eligible voter by 15 Decreases the liberty by 35. Increases the chances of citizens becoming rebels by 15%. Decreases tourist ratings. We don't care about that. But increases military standings by 30. This sounds like an all win-win to me. Who knows? Am I going to hit it next episode? I don't know. You're just going to have to tune in to find out. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Jurtastic and I am out.